been sending a message that they ain't listening. That's it. My dirt bag, keep talking. And because they don't hear you, well, they heard. Popped one of them two weeks back and clipped another one over on Augusta. Let's go, let's go! Comes the show critics are calling. Uh, Leon! <sighs> what the hell are you doing here, Leon? Somewhere better. But everything has... It's a... time you recognized your failure as a leader. Do you want to live where people were angry at you? What's up, everybody? It's DJ Raymo Power. It's industry, home of new music and entertainment. And our guest today is the amazing actor, Jeff Lima. How you doing, brother? Hey, I'm very well, thanks. What's going on? Nicoto Moroto, Conejato, Conejato. How you doing? Hell yeah, Latino <laughs> actor. Vamos, let's get that right. Should we do the interview in Spanish or English? Oh, God, no. Let's do it in English. English, yeah. okay. Just making sure. Uno Puerto yeah. Nuevo. <laughs> you can tell you. Yo, my uncle will kill me if we attempt to do this in Spanish because my Spanish is, you know. No, very good looking. <laughs> yes, And then exactly. you mess up the Spanish. All of us they... here is fucked up. Awesome. Very good. <laughs> so I'm going to fit right in. <laughs> so you're Puerto Rican, right? From yeah. Harlem? Yeah. Okay. Um, actor, right? That's right. You can, can you tell us some of the things you've been in for the yeah, people who don't know? For like, sure. Just brag a little bit. Talk about yourself. You know, be Definitely. cocky. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where, how did you start? Where did you start? So off? I'm a New York City based actor. Uh, currently, I recur on NBC Chicago Fire. Yo, you are dope on that show, I have to tell you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You are dope yeah. on that show. I watch so, all of that nerdy stuff. Amazing. <laughs> we started off up. as, um, it was only supposed to be like a two episode thing, but uh, you know, we're six seasons in and I've recurred wow. over the past six years. So it's pretty dope to be part of the uh, a Dick Wolf uh, universe, right? The right. Law and Order guy. Right. And all these years later. Wow. Still uh, in he, it. Yeah. And so, um, you know, it's, it's not New York based anymore. It's in Chicago. We film in Chicago and such. Um, kind of like love and hip hop. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's I guess what's most recent. Um, I've also had series regular roles on uh, HBO's um, "Show Me a Hero" with Oscar Isaac and Winona Ryder, uh, and I've done all of the New York actor stuff like "Taxi Brooklyn," "Blue Bloods," mm -hmm. uh, the novelas uh, "Guiding Light," which oh, wow. was on for like fifty-seven years. Yeah. Wow. So just yeah, that's pretty much it. You have mm -hmm. pages and pages of, of jobs of work. Gotcha. Like you've been working for such a young so, age. You stay busy. As far as film, I went to a, a great performing art program in, in Harlem. Okay. And there was a teacher there, Jamaican, and she was very rigid, right? When I walked Stern, into yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. When I walked into her class, she said, Go back to the guidance counselor and tell them to switch you out of theater. You're not Oh wow. Um wow. exactly. So I was taken aback. Also, um, but in hindsight, was this after like you were in a classroom, nah, or you really, just walked in and she sent you right back? So out? I started the school year in November. So I had just moved from Suffolk County, Long Island, okay. um, right, relocated to Harlem, and I wanted to pursue acting. I never had formal training, uh -huh. and when I fell into this uh, junior high school, they did offer the arts. Mm -hmm. um, but this theater teacher, she wasn't having just anybody in, in it. Her so class, right? yeah, it, it took a while to to merit being in her class wow. uh she was actually the the first person who bought my headshots oh wow and who went and on she me really to believed my, in you she yeah and that's that's amazing. that was um what i needed she right, right. she believed in me and whatever um but she fact, threw you out of the class she threw me the <laughs> hell out of the class yeah very uh, just like that movie lean on me remember that yeah yeah but you know sometimes <laughs> tough love is good love like tough that's love right. is what gives you discipline and it makes you prove them right so you don't get in trouble <laughs> like, that's right exactly like, and too she, much leniency mm -hmm. means they don't really care and then that's where you know if, you don't really care that's right if if she would have coddled me then i probably wouldn't have taken it as serious um it was in her class that these casting directors came in and they auditioned a bunch of us um i got a role in that movie they were auditioning folks for mm -hmm. that movie earned an Oscar nomination. Which in movie fact, was that? the lead, uh, Half Nelson. Oh, Half Nelson. Ooh. Yeah, so the lead okay. won the Oscar that year. So I'm happy that, you know, this Jamaican woman said, get out of my theater class. But then she welcomed me, got me my first headshots, um, introduced me to these casting folks. And the first movie I was in was nominated for an Oscar, oh. right? Uh, you, you was the right from the, out the gate. You were, you were around excellence right from yeah, the gate. Yeah, super dope. So I'm yeah, super appreciative uh, for yeah. for that teacher. You need to, you know, when you say your your award winning speeches, you got to thank her. That's right. <laughs> She'll kill me if I don't. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. The Jamaican accent will come out and get you. Oh man, that's right. Oh. <laughs> what a blood clay I did. <laughs> I mean, so, we, yeah. 
So, um, because you, wait, you you said that you relocate. So, are you from Long Island or are you from Harlem? No, I'm from Harlem. You're like from I was, Harlem. I was born in Harlem. Was born in we Harlem. moved around a lot, bro. We've gotcha. been to Brooklyn, Bronx, Long Island. So, you a real New Yorker. There you go, right? I feel like we move every eight months. Yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> when, when you get into that. Oh, shit. Most people I know do that, that leave the rents behind. Like, I'm not paying. I'm out. No, okay, you know what? That might be it. Like, my mom was always was moving. Struggling. I, it was I, struggling. I, I never knew why. <laughs> <laughs> so, what else you working on? What's your new stuff going on that people should know about? Yeah, what so, um, I just got in. We just, a couple weeks ago, we just finished um my mm. contribution to, to Chicago Fire and whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, A big part of... I guess being an actor, period, is mm -hmm. uh, how do I, as an artist, keep busy right, right. And, and in times during which I'm, I'm not on set and whatever. And so um, I've managed to partner with New York University, uh, Tisch School of the Arts, mm -hmm. and they've named the grant after me, the Jeff Lima Production Award. Oh, wow. So um, NYU has a track record of graduating directors uh, who are the busiest folks, uh, showrunners and such in Hollywood and in mm -hmm. New York. Um, what this particular grant does, it's mm -hmm. a $10,000 grant, the Jeff Lima Award. Right. Um, it, the $10,000 goes toward uh, a graduate or um, alum within five years. Uh, it goes toward their short film oh, wow. that particularly advances, uh, advances the Latino image on screen. Wow. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty dope. I'm so why did, to, yeah. how did they wind up selecting you out of all the actors? Because they graduate a lot of actors. Yeah, yeah. You, you said directors. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's, and I'm not saying it's not deserved. I'm just trying to understand how it is they selected you. Like, did they explain to you this is why we've selected you? And yeah, it's a, um, gotcha. So um, it, it it's actually something that I thought up. Oh, and your um, concept. Yeah, and I managed to uh, secure a meeting with the chair of, of Tish, of NYU. Mm -hmm. um, and I explained to her, you know, I'll I'll fund, um, you know, up to 20,000 a year, um, privately You're fund. paying for it? Yeah. Uh, I'll you fund- You got 20 hours? <laughs> <laughs> he was alone. <laughs> so- 20, uh, you heard that 20 stacks, man? She was happy. I mean, generally, uh, a 20 minute uh, short film, a thesis film costs about 20,000 to make. Right. Um, yeah. So what we discussed is, you know, it'll be every year, but for year one, let's wow. just let's pilot this. Let's let's do ten thousand. Uh, so what I'm equipped to do is, you know, that money sits in escrow or whatever. I'm yeah. not sure. But um, once the grant is given, mm -hmm. I'm sure that they're gonna blow through that ten thousand. It's what a filmmaker does. Like right, right. we don't really know. Um, a budget is a budget. It's just that it's theoretical. Right. So um, if they do run into some sort of, you know, we need more financing, then I'm equipped to gap finance. So right. if they needed more money, then mm -hmm. Jeff Lima. We'll step in as um, a financer or EP. Uh, to well, we've come to the conclusion that you're rich. No, I'm kidding. God, no, I wish I was. <laughs> no, 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 no. no that twenty thousand probably be two hundred. We need the 000. US award. How do we I, get the How do we get the US award? <laughs> I will say this though. Um, I wish I had gone to a performing art conservatory mm. uh, to to study theater in college mm. and whatever, but mm. I didn't. I was a finance major. Oh, okay. And so my bachelor's is in finance, and so. I think I've been able to just those goes are Merge transferable. The two. Yes, there's the two things. Yeah, that's amazing. That's a beautiful thing, though. And and the goal for you is really to just see more Latinos on on screen, right? Absolutely. Latinos. Um, so often I hear Latinos, and and Black folk say, "I want to see more of me on screen." Right, right. And that's great. But, but uh, when do you stop complaining about it and push do forward, something right. about it? Put um, something in place to try yeah, to get you there, right? That's right. And you took initiative to do it. That's amazing. Wow, I appreciate that. Phenomenal, man. Thank you. <laughs> you get an award for that. I wish we had one to give you. Give you a plaque. <laughs> right. nah, it means a lot, and hopefully, uh, you know, let's see where, the, where this goes. Right, right. Um, you know, we and why some patelios. <laughs> I gladly take that. Um, hopefully, in in five years, the grant is bigger, substantially the, more. Right, and yeah, probably right. bigger, and, and mm -hmm. have reached, you know. A film festival, so I want to your yeah, things or absolutely. something that you created, your baby, your child. That's, that's right. That's, there you go. That's an amazing Nobody thing. Nobody can take that from you. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy about that. I get to pass that on to, you know, we, we talk about passing down wealth. Right. So let's pass down this uh, philanthropy. No, nah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So show me a hero. Yeah. That was a real life character. Yeah. Can yeah. you talk to us a little bit about show, us, show me a hero? Yeah. And how uh, you got on that show. and Gotcha. So show me a hero was the first of its kind for me. Um, generally... If, if you're an actor, you're either creating a character based on the script that they've given you and so forth, or you're recreating a character 
based off of uh, a, a real life person. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it was the latter for Show Me a Hero, right? Uh, John Santos was incarcerated for murder. Mm -hmm. It's my opinion that it was an accident. He didn't mean to. Right. Um, and I've gotten flack for that in the past, but it's what I believe. I, right. um, you well, naturally, because families probably passed away in that blaze, correct? Was there people hurt? Uh, I, yeah, I, I mean, so you know, what I mean, yeah. you gotta that part I understand. You know, they blame you know people feeling sorrow, or something. God forbid happens to somebody, somebody you're gonna feel a certain way. You're gonna that's right. Like, why did this person get you know? Yeah. So I, I guess uh, the big part of that is uh, where how do I say what I say but have empathy? Right. And I get it like that. It right. does hurt, but um, but you have to speak your truth. Right. It's important that you speak your truth. So for the character, um, I, I was able to speak with the producers on the project and mm -hmm. um, really analyze the book, right? Because the series is based on a book. Um, and this is, it's more research driven. You get the text, uh, you get the actual book, you get the script, and you somehow make it make sense. Uh, very different from creating a character from air, from air right? right? Because the there are certain truths that have to be consistent to both the novel and the script uh, that the showrunners generated. This is crazy. I cannot believe he has a grant. Like, still oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm still stuck on that, man. Like, it, it's, it's he's gonna ask you for a you loan. You know, don't know why. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just waiting for it. I'm broke. No, you know bro. what it is because there's a lot of people. And again, I don't know what they personally do with their money. So I never want to name anyone and say they should do more. But those people out there who are making money That's as right. actors, as directors, That's right. they went to school. My my feeling is is the same. And myself and Raymond have always talked about it. That you know, when you come from particular communities, it's your responsibility to give back. That's right. You know what I mean? And this is a great way, and it's coming out of your pocket to do this. You yeah, know yeah. I mean? While we joking, you're rich. We know you're not a millionaire. God, no. You know what I mean? But, like, for somebody to take what they have and give that, you know what I mean? That, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Like, just so I can put it in perspective, um, and I'm not saying anything about the Bronx, but I live in the Bronx. But uh, this was uh, it's something I wanted to do, um, creating the, the grant and so forth. But... A lot of my actor friends, um, you know, they'll stand in line at the club and it's four hundred dollars for the table, no bottles. And if you're trying to drink, I go in with Ramos, so I don't uh, know oh, nothing you about that. <laughs> no, but he's right. There's, there's, yeah. there's minimums. So it's just, uh, yeah, it's like so it's nightclub real estate. You want to be over here? It costs more money. This yeah. is the good, expensive area. That's right. You so, want to go over to stand by the bar? You look like the cheap guy. And ex who wants to be by the bar? Your game is not as good in the club. Yeah, if you're that's on a mission. right. Nobody's looking toward the bar. Yeah, you yeah. want bottle service and such. So it's just a matter of um, really you're just, defining. You're just for refocusing where you're putting your investment. You're like, 100%. you know what? You wanted to go into something you feel good that you spent money on. Hundred percent. Which is good. It's got to be fulfilling for yourself. Like, That's you right. know, not just go to the club and I pop some bottles and everybody looked at me. I rather what you're doing is way better. And I hope more people take, you know, advice and, and follow your formula because that's a way better to make a world a better place. Not to sound like Michael Jackson, but <laughs> it, it'll make the world a better place if more people you. think like you do and move around like you do. Great. Just popping That's bottles in great the club gets you know it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you, you know what's crazy is that, you know, the dope thing about what you're doing, imagine someone blows up. Let's say someone gets to your grant and becomes this superstar. You know yeah. what I mean? They, you know, as you do acting, you know, eventually you will fade to the side and other people will move up. That's, That's just right. the name of any game. That's any right. Yeah. Employment. They may say, hey, you know what? I'm still putting you in this movie. Mm. You know? Yeah. I was like that. Who does that a lot? Uh, what's this guy? Um, not... Ben, is it not Ben? So, oh, Adam Chandler. I love the mm. way he treats his friends. God, oh my like, God! When he yeah. does movies. It's like he takes his people. It's the same seven. It's folks. the same. It's the yeah. same crew. He, no matter what he does, he says they're getting jobs. Whatever film I'm doing, you guys have to employ them. That's right. You know, and they yeah. all do the same to each other. And mm -hmm. I think that that's how it should be. Yeah, you know that's I mean? that's really. So that's, it's just a beautiful thing what you're doing. That's like a epitome of uh, networking, right? This is my network, and wherever yeah. I move, you folks are moving with me. Right. You're definitely building it and making a strong team doing it like that. There's no taking. <laughs> away from that and giving you know yeah so what about the other the other show you are so you want a Bobby Brown thing yeah so let's talk about that yeah and which part do you feel like I watch Bobby so Brown so Bobby Brown is the very opening it, it's the uh, the guy the probably I think the only Latino on that who who kills uh, Bobby Brown's best friend that was you yeah so he's like the catalyst for like Bobby Brown and you know whatever whatever funny thing is I met so the director of Bobby Brown is uh, Kyle Scott. Mm -hmm. Kyle Scott, I met doing a short film when I was 16 for NYU. Oh. Kyle Scott is a very, very 
bright man and he's a black man i look up to kyle mm -hmm. I, like i look up to um uh randy wilkins another bright director uh from nyu who's black um so kyle saw me working on randy's project when i was 16. uh kyle needed i guess um latino talent for the project this was shooting in atlanta and he shot me a text he said look we need somebody that looks like you uh can you just put yourself on tape send it to casting for bet mm -hmm. and that's the rest is history yeah wow so again uh speaks to just creating a network uh, kyle all these more than 10 years later he was able to remember jeff who worked on that short film back in nyu and let me get him for this project and that's what i'm talking about you see what i'm saying like yeah. you did something so young and they remembered you people remember when you do good things by them yeah yeah you know? absolutely wow. is there a certain type of role that's like that you love playing is there a certain type of person you like to project when you do or do you, do you do not care what they put you in nah so um and the do you so, have standards when you ask? <laughs> yeah do you turn away things too? <laughs> i feel like it's always that in the beginning you just kind of take what's what, what, what they give right. but um as you advance in your career right. it's a matter of just refining what it is for jeff right right and so um maybe jeff has a track record of successfully playing the puerto rican who's uh, street and very assertive when he speaks right. um and how can i expand myself as an right. actor how can i grow as an actor um maybe i'm taking maybe i'm playing the latino kid uh, who's affluent who lives in the hamptons right, right and so right now that's what we're working on so even with uh chicago fire we we see that character grow right he was a gang banger and this mm -hmm. guy's been around guns and drugs and um but you know four five six years later He's a really, um, he's really refined himself as a, as a Latino young man. He's articulate, he's gone to school. Uh, he's giving his brother who's in, um, who's a fireman advice, right? And he, he just speaks better now. Um, so that's the direction that I wanna see us move toward is uh, how do I play the Latino who's got something right. to offer? Right, right. We wanna have our own, um, you know. <laughs> Somebody be like, yeah, that's one of us. Yes. Not always, yeah. a, not always the, the, the bad picture. That's like, right. Not the Spanish guy. Yeah. They're always stealing everything. <laughs> and it's, it's not to say that that's always a bad thing. Right. Right. But if, if the screenplay is imbued with uh, cultural specificities mm -hmm. that really define what Latino is, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Right. Because then the audience has a, a very um, clear idea of, right. of what Latino is as a whole mm -hmm. and not just this idea or aesthetic or of what, what Latino may be. Right. What it should be. Yeah. So that, that makes all the difference. Well, that's true. So, now that you're this big time actor, right? Oh man, <laughs> I know the family has to hit you up. Yeah, I didn't. Put my... <laughs> right. Yeah, well, that's super toxic, and that does happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's super important that we know how to when to say no. But this morning, uh, my my mom left me a crazy voicemail, and I, my heart dropped. She yelled off the top of her lungs, and she's like, "Jeff, I like, what, what's going on?" Uh, she opened a magazine and she saw my picture next to Susan Sarandon's Ooh. and she's crying on this morning. She's like, she's crying on the voicemail. She didn't be like, <laughs> <laughs> that's probably coming. That's probably coming. This is what, this is what prefaces <laughs> that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Introduce her. Um, but yeah, the family as a whole, I think they're, they've grown receptive to it. In the beginning, we're very old school Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. Aspirations to be an artist is associated with secular. It's the devil. Yeah, you right. don't look that way. Yeah, it's not the guaranteed thing they yeah, want you to do. Exactly. And we were mm -hmm. better janitors and plumbers and electricians. Right. So that's uh, that's what I feel like my grandmother, for instance, wanted for me, was to do something that's a little more promising. Right. right? So it was definitely uh, more attainable. So for, she her, didn't for her to see that it. image, it, it was like, wow, what he's doing is real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it took a while to get there before she finally just accepted that, you know, Jeff is really going to fight to, to be to in get that world there. and to make it. Yeah. That's good, though. You're, you're definitely focused and disciplined, and those are the things that will get you there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I agree. I um, what else you want to ask him about? So, I mean, aside from all of this, uh, as far as actors that you want to work with, that you haven't had the chance to work with. Yeah. Is there a role you're dying to play? That's really what I want to know. Is there yeah. a role you're dying to play? Like? I mean, just um, in general, I I, I want to play- Puerto Rican uh, Superman. 
<laughs> yeah, what about a Latino? Like, because now, you know, black people stepping up, Black Panther, you know what I mean? I will say this, um, and it's only been about 10 years that I've been auditioning and mm-hmm. whatever. Uh, I'm seeing more of those Latino, su- li- literally, Latino superhero roles mm-hmm. now up. than when I did, than when I started 10 years ago. The world is changing. Yeah, and it's great to have lived uh, to see the difference. The cycle, yeah, right? the cycle I, change. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, so I, I do hope I, I get to play again just a Latino who, right, right. who every, you know Not, other Latino kids can look up to look that up sort to, of thing. Right. Yeah, that's amazing. I see you were featured on something a couple months ago on Pix Eleven, talking about uh, you were bullied as you were for your teeth when you were younger. Yeah, I had really bad teeth when I was young. You definitely don't have bad teeth now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So. Yeah. How did you resolve these issues? How did how did you get past that? Like, what, what advice do you have for kids that are getting bullied right now? Did you have Medicaid? Did, did it help you <laughs> out? Like, how did it? How did it happen? Amazing did stuff. Your yeah. first check go to fix your teeth. We want some Cardi B business. Like, I don't know. You know, we want to know. Yeah. Because um, Cardi teeth was crazy. Worth it? <laughs> she has great teeth now. I, yo, I, I, I mean, she's know. gorgeous. Don't get it twisted. Like, Absolutely. yo, Cardi. I mean, you are. But come on, you knew. Yeah. She knew. She talks about it. She like, yo, when she she was stacking them chips to fix her teeth. Excellent. Yeah. You know but what I mean? Cardi B is an absolute um, vision now. Com- you know, stunning. Um, Money will do that though. <laughs> and it look, completes your vision. If if you can afford it, um. So I had, you know, we were born poor, whatever. I had great, you know, that poor insurance is great insurance. Yeah. So uh, we got the teeth fixed and whatever. Um, but I knew that there was that bullying as a whole right, was always going to be a. Really issue. wanted to get to <laughs> the, the fact we how digress. you did it. We know you paid for. It. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was bullied as a child and whatever. Um, but I guess when you act in whatever, you have a platform. Right. And Jeff, what would you like to do to uh, be a catalyst for change? And so um, right now, I'm, I guess, an ambassador for uh, HDFR, the Hope for Depression uh, wow. for Research Foundation. Oh, wow. uh, they're like, yeah. Um, w- what I love about them is they have doctors, uh, you know, like neuro- neurosurgeons and such, um, really studying bullying and its effects and uh, where it comes from. Just like they have everyday folks like psychologists and social workers reaching out to high schools, and so collectively as as a whole, they're really able to to speak to bullying and to provide um, like calls to action mm-hmm. um, as far as what can we do to mitigate instances of bullying. Right. And I'm happy to be a part of that. And right. again, it's something that didn't fall on my lap. It's something that I had to right. you, move you've toward. Been through it. Yeah, and, and it starts at a young age. I think bullying is really like a school thing, an elementary school thing. Absolutely, and, yeah. Well, kids and it, are, and it affects you bully, through yeah. the, rest, the rest of your life. You mm-hmm. know? Insecurities, your confidence. Your, you know, a perfect example is, um, you know, when I, when I finally get to watch this back, uh, you know, today's exchange uh, with you folks and myself, mm-hmm. um, I wonder how many times I covered my face by accident. Right. Mm-hmm. I, and that's just I used it's, to do that too I used to not smile You actually did yeah. it A couple of times now It was funny okay, yeah. Seriously I watched you You were like this And I don't know If you meant to do it, it just But you did it. it You actually were like this I'm just covering My crooked teeth right. But that's the thing yeah. Like you, they're, you, your teeth are fine But you know what I mean And that's what Raymond That's why I agree with Raymond What he says Like it stays with you And we don't We do things We don't even You know acknowledge Like me being As a young man I grew up in a system and I eat really fast. Okay. And people, you know, they they you know, they look like why are you eating so fast? But in the system, when you come up in group homes and spot for it and all that, you eat on a timeline. When you chop, you eat and you move, and then you gotta watch to see nobody else is trying to. Take it's crazy, food. and stuff sticks with you. And that's right. What I'm looking yeah. at with you, I, I noticed that a couple of times you went like this, and I didn't know if he purposely did it, yeah. but no, you yeah. did it. Like you'll yeah. see it back when you see the interview. It was crazy, right. Yeah. But, like I, you know, I usually try to just hold my hands down here so that my hands don't come up to my face, but. Like you said, yeah, like this is the dude we got to bring to the club because we we're going home with something now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, but yeah, yeah I, I completely. Okay, I, go with you. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that how um, just the the implications of childhood, whatever trauma, mm-hmm. can have uh, some sort of effect on on you as an adult. All yeah. these years later, uh, yeah, I'm I, I'm just very proud of the work you're doing. Man. I appreciate that. That you means a lot. Right? Yeah, and like we talk, you know. Uh, Raymond has been a, a strong advocate for making sure that we have a lot of Latino actors and Latinos come up, you know, and it doesn't mean anything against any other cultures. That's but, right. you know, at the end of the day, you know, you always want to start with, with your first, you yeah, know you, what I mean? You just root for your home team. I'm Puerto yeah. Rican, so I want to see Puerto Rican people succeed. Like, it's and there's just, nothing wrong with it's that. A, yeah. It's a home you know? team thing. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. 
And it doesn't yeah. mean you got to cut anybody's throat to do it. It's just saying we're supporting this this movement and we're still embracing other movements as they come up. Amazing. You know I mean? Yeah, that's right. I get it. So this, this is definitely dope. I don't know if, if Ray has some other questions he needs to. Yeah, just whatever he yeah. wants to talk about. Anything you want to promote? Any, any new to... projects? Any new films? Let's any talk about that. Any advice you want to give yeah. younger people that want to be Any money you want to give us? I mean, uh, <laughs> he just wants some money. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Twenty racks over here. <laughs> nah, I wish. Look, um, it, it's not. Um, it's probably not what it's. In the club, like. <laughs> I actually want that amazing watch you have on your wrist. <laughs> yeah, see there you go. That's right? Amazing. Look, look. It's the first thing I learned. That's because diamonds. of the crooked teeth. I had to get watches and jewelry <laughs> to set it off. Change it. See, there you go. Come see, again. you did it again. <laughs> I, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. Um, it happens less now, but. Um, I guess my advice would be. Um, you know, when when you're given the platform again, because you are, um, mm -hmm. it, it has to be a proactive initiative on your end right. uh, to to affect the change that you want to see, right? Uh, DJ Ramo, I'm, your life is mm -hmm. what I wanted, like I, as a whole, right. just everything you do, right. um, it's very there's grandeur with it right. and I love I'm enamored by that um, right. but he, you also have this segment and it's really a catalyst for artists who are starting who are who passed that starting level right. and who have a body of work right Right, but here we are talking and want, you've done that for a plethora of artists so that's major we want to glamorize and we want to sh showcase let people know of your things you know right now there's not a lot of platforms that's for right young, yep actors mm -hmm. and gentlemen and music people that want to get you know heard and know their stories and you know know about your teeth know about your security <laughs> oh, know about your success yeah. know about your passions like the fact that you have this thing with the grants like that's amazing and if some, nobody asks you to talk about it how you gonna how will people know that's you know? right yeah so that's why we're here <laughs> that's exactly why we're here yeah man. super grateful to have come today thank you guys uh, no problem you want to give everybody your social medias and instagram handles yeah absolutely how um, they can find you yeah i could be followed on the jeff lima on uh instagram and facebook there you go jeff that's lima, what it keep is. it simple thank you so much appreciate it for sure oh, you, yeah. you gonna give us some bars do you rap <laughs> i wish actually you sing <laughs> <laughs> that was his teeth out there oh, he does okay. We're going to put handcuffs on you like this. <laughs> that, that'd be something. That's probably the therapy I need. It's just to lock my nah, arms I'll go down. Away. People, I, I did the same thing. I used to have a chip tooth my whole life. Let me ask you a question. As a Latino, because they yes. just had those awards, right? What did you think about them honoring? Did you get a chance to see it? They were honored Daddy Yankee and all of them, and he brought up all these different artists. Did you have any opinion on those awards? No. Uh, what, which awards are these? That's uh, Premio Lo Nuestro. Premio Lo Nuestro. There yeah. you go. What he said. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I noticed, because they never honored reggaeton before. Okay. And it was like, yeah. you know, so I didn't know if you watched the audience. And just that, entertainment you know. as a whole, I think um, the academies or governing bodies for these award ceremonies, we're moving in that direction, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Black Panther is nominated for Best uh, best Picture. Right. And that's never happened with a superhero movie. Right. That's what makes this pick. I'm dying to see if he wins this. Yeah, he yeah. should. Mm -hmm. right. They should because. It's a great film. Uh, great storyline, yeah. great everything. But also, uh, oh my God, Quran, Alfonso Quran, uh, mm -hmm. Roma. Mm -hmm. Great movie. Great movie. It's like a great book almost. Um, that's also up for Best Picture this year, but it's the first foreign movie to be nominated for Best Picture in, here in America. So, so we wait, are they're making, competing? Yeah, uh, they are. It's a big night tonight, Oscar night. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be crazy. It is. because Wakanda yeah. forever. I, I, I got to go. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. So you have that on one end, and you have everybody, you know, a yeah. lot of the Latino community saying. Because they played well, that back in the movie. Like, it was out of the movie theaters, and then they brought it back, and people are still paying to see it. I'm like, you could be home, watch it on cable. Yeah, yeah, and people are still right. going to the theaters. That, to me, says a phenomenal movie. There's no way. Like... If you can put a movie uh, a movie back in the theater and people are still going to pay soon when they can just watch it on cable. Yeah, so it, it debunks this notion that folks of color don't support come out of don't right don't support uh, other blacks and Latinos. That's, that's um, out the and window we're right seeing now. right it's not the case. Gotcha. We live in a very uh, I'm interesting sure the movie time. houses are going to notice that and and try to you know capitalize off of it, but either way it brings it helps us regardless. <laughs> yeah, it's it's huge for marketing also. Right. Uh, that it is. So b before you get out of here, I just have one more question. I ask all uh, actors, is there any role you won't play? 
You have to know. Um, no, they, they, he wouldn't real, play. I won't they, he wouldn't absolutely play. would not play. Yeah, there is, and it's Which is? it's always been on my mind. Um, I'm a huge advocate for for children. Okay. Um, in 2016, I founded my own organization in the Bronx, uh, where we provide after school for okay. just 150 children. That's um, dope. Uh, in in Title One schools, so the poverty. Um, Mm-hmm. inundated neighborhoods mm-hmm. um so I, I, yeah I'm a huge advocate for that if i was ever given a role where i had to um hurt a child mm-hmm. um or where the character hurts a child i would i wouldn't take it on nice. uh, just because when you're getting in character and you're preparing for these roles you kind of just internalize day in and day out right. you know for the whole three or four weeks that you're shooting if it's an episodic the whole six months that you're shooting you don't want to um, be in that body I don't state want of mind. To. It's such a deplorable thing. Right. To hurt um, a child, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so that is the one thing I will never I will never play. That's um, beautiful. Well, we want to thank you for hanging out with us today, sure. man. We're gonna be looking for you on the big screen. Amazing. And uh we take checks. <laughs> PayPal, PayPal, all that. And if you ever need some people he could DJ, I could just be the dude on the corner. Whatever awesome. you need, we there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you so much, man. For Thanks sure. for coming out, man. Real pleasure. All right.